Jesse. I'm here in Brazoria, Texas. Uh, we're here with Rudy. So what's up, Rudy? Hello. Yes. Uh, Saturday, we were posted up here at the No Name Festival, and he was hanging out with one of his friends outside, and I went to got ice in the middle of the event, and they saw me pull up, and they saw my bag, I believe, that said Hemp Works. And his friend that lives here or was hanging out, he said, hey, man, you, you sell that kind of stuff? Or something like that. Do you yeah. remember what he said? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, we, we had the pure CBD in the market. And uh, he's like, man, my friend here needs some because, you know, he can't be caught smoking uh, the real stuff or, or like marijuana, you know. Uh, and I was like, well, dude, this thing we have, we have zero THC. It does help. And, uh, man, we, we got to conversate and talk for about 10, 15 minutes and we got to know each other. And he's like, man, I'm gonna stop by, you know, I'm gonna stop by your tent, I'm gonna stop by your tent. And, uh, you know, before before I knew it, he came over with his other friend. Can you tell him your name, buddy? John. John over here. Uh, we have a lot of mutual friends, pretty amazing how small this world is, but, uh, you know, he came along and we, we got to educate each other and, and talk and let them know, you know, uh, the ingredients and everything that's in CBD, how it should be. Uh, but it's very cool because uh, Rudy, he started to consume the product and today, two days later, he calls me. And uh, I just want you to hear from him how it happened. Uh, it really did touch my heart and that's why I'm here right now. I had to come visit him. But uh, here you go. Uh, first of all, I was in some very bad stuff. Uh, when Uncle Sam sent me on that all expense paid trip to Southeast Asia, sent me on a hunting trip. Uh, and I caught the PTSD, the, uh, I was, uh, the Agent Orange, I don't know if you've ever heard of Agent Orange, but it then tore my whole body up. My arms, uh, are in pain, both arms are in pain all the time, my legs are in pain all the time. I spent most of my days in the bedroom, as my friend would can tell you, you know, John, he's what he takes care of. Help me pay bills and uh, cooking, uh, cleaning, just about everything else around here. And uh, so I needed to do something because I was always in pain. So I had to. I had heard about this oil here, and I had to to bring it to me. I asked you about it. I said yes, I want to know more about it. And so we went there that afternoon. That yeah, that afternoon, and I got a bottle. I bought you. Yeah. And it's hard to believe, but I gone down, you know, from uh, my pain pills. They've gone way down. In the two days, I have noticed I did not. I'm not taking them regularly. They're just sitting in there. But I'm uh, hitting this this all more, and it's helped me out. The pains have really slowed down. I can, I'm up. I. Get out of town today, as a matter of fact, feel pretty good about it too. Feel good getting out, and that's why I, I gotta. I, I don't know, maybe it's my faith. I have too much faith in, in this stuff, and it's, it's really it has helped me out. What did your friend tell you, your buddy, that you told him about this? About uh, it? He, he wanted to try it out. I got uh, he took my bottle and he took him uh, a shot, and uh, so. I gotta get him, you know, I want him to try it out and get him to start feeling the way I feel. And then I've got two brothers that I want, you know, I'd like for them to try it out to see what they think. Because if they help me that quick, it'll help, I, it can help them. And they don't have the pains I have. But uh, I'm pretty sure, it, you know, you'll feel better once they try this stuff out. And it's, legal. <laughs> that's what got me. That's why I've never tried it before. Because I had so many people telling me, well, the police are going to find out if you're buying this stuff. You're going to get in trouble. Uh, you didn't, I didn't know what to do to him. JC came over and he said, it's legal, you know. So now that I know it's legal, I'm not scared to order it or, you know, or take it. You know, because the VA can't do nothing about it. The VA is the one that's sick. I couldn't smoke weed and that was the best medicine I had was at night for sleeping good because I'm in so much pain that now I don't even have to do that. I just 
few drops. And uh, like I said, it's only been two days that I could feel good already. And uh, I imagine how it's going to be in a month or two. I'll be back on my bike soon. Yeah, oh. get out of the way because I'm coming through on that Harley. So, yeah. What they tell you about the cane, though? Like, that was pretty I, cool. I, I, I had to walk around with a cane. When I don't need the cane, I can walk around. I feel, I don't, I don't know. It just, the pain just has gone. They've reduced so much. It's not all the way gone, but they're, you know, the pain has reduced down a lot. And that's what I wanted because now I don't have to just lay there and just, my legs throbbing and the tingling on the bottom of my feet or anything. It's just sit there and watch my soap operas. So I think you call it the news, the government, uh, watching all that all, most of the day. That's all I can do. And so all I can do is say thank you to Jesus. And thank you. For opening up my eyes. And thank you, Rudy. And that's, uh, what can I say? That's awesome. Th this is... This is why we do what we do, guys, just to get in front of people when you least expect it. And uh, honestly, it's I'm honored to be here with him. I had to come visit him and uh, just want to make sure he feels good. But uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, just any questions you might, y'all might have. I know I have a couple friends asking me about about you know their PTSD and uh, you know this is proof right here with Rudy and. Uh, so you know this is the beginning like we're gonna help so many people at the va as well so that's what we're excited about i have uh, the reason i've got all of this that ptsd the agent orange i spent two years and three months in vietnam and if you've been there if you were there that long you're sure to pick up something it took a long time for me for it to come out but it finally came out and when it did it retired me from work I've been in pain for a long time now. I, you know, I'm starting to feel good.